Descendants 3 was the most iconic movie and you cannot change my mind about that and watching Descendants 4 recently just further confirms my theory that Audrey was genuinely the best villain and I love how the story builds it up into her being a villain like she's not a villain right off the bat the first two movies are kind of like hyping her up and she's not the nicest but she's not like outright trying to take over the world or anything you know and also her villain outfit is incredibly beautiful honestly all of her outfits are beautiful but the villain one is iconic i love hasbro's dolls but i do wish that we got collector quality dolls with nice fabrics nice outfits better hair I feel like that's truly what's missing from my life. Just a top tier Descendants collector doll. Because even the deluxe Audrey that was the Amazon exclusive, she was not that deluxe. Like there were still elements of her that were super cheap and the hair was a crime. Anyways, I will be talking about Audrey first because she's my favorite Descendants character. Along with Evie, of course. I think her face is really cute. I love the light pink eyeshadow on her. It looks amazing. Pink is definitely her color. And she does have red lipstick. There is some minor blush on the cheeks as well. She has no earrings. And sadly, the necklace is just a one colored piece. It's so bad. It really ruins the look of the doll. I think in the future, I might repaint it if I end up buying some new paints. It does clip together in the back. So at least it's not falling off all the time like the ones without the clasps do. The hair, as you can already tell, looks absolutely terrible. Also, why is her scalp like 10 shades darker than her actual hair color? What is this? I think they were just lazy and used the evil Audrey head color. The quality is so bad, it feels disgusting to touch. She does have a mesh collared area, and then we see the same mesh used for her sleeves. And then the dress does transition off into that corset, but sadly, it is all just one layer and the details are just printed on. It is so unfortunate. I do like that they kept the flare, but I feel like the pants just look kind of weird here. The string kind of takes you out of it because it's somewhat bulky. Like it doesn't lay perfectly flat, if you get what I mean. And her shoes are just one solid pink color. I'm gonna be honest and say something potentially controversial. I know that this doll is boring. I know that she's just completely lacking effort and detail and quality, but I still really love her and she was one of my grails for a really long time and I'm super happy to have her. Now for this Mal, to be truthful, her outfit is one of my least favorites and so is her hair and her face. Like it's just not giving. Like even her eye makeup is pretty boring. I don't know, it just feels like there's nothing special about her. There are so many other much more beautiful Mal dolls out there. A warning for traumatizing hair quality. This is what it looks like from the back. So bad. To be honest, I feel like if Hasbro had used better hair quality, Descendants dolls would have sold a lot better. Anyways, her plastic arm pieces are just one solid color, and even though they are plastic, she can kind of bend her arms with them on, so that's a plus. The gloves are permanently molded on though, and her outfit is made of like a faux leather material with the details just being printed onto it. I feel like the split between the jacket and the pants does not look that great. It does velcro on in the back, and of course we do see this iconic print. Even though the details are printed on and I hate that, I like that they at least printed on the details fairly accurately onto the pants. Her shoes are platforms and they are just a solid purple color. They do have some nice moldings and engravings on them. And that wraps up this review. What do you think of this set and what's your Descendants Grail? 